So today marks a milestone for me. Uh, today is my 40th birthday, and I gotta admit I'm I'm really excited about it. Uh, I see a lot of really great things coming up uh, in the next several years for for me and my family and and our company too. Um, but over the last week or so, I've I've kind of been contemplating and and reminiscing and. Uh, just kind of reflecting on the last 10 years uh, of my life because uh, a lot of major things have happened. And so I just kind of wanted to share uh, a little bit of it, um, kind of what they've meant to me and kind of what I've, I've learned out of that. Um, first thing is with my uh, youngest daughter, Celia, uh, you know, she was born in 2011. Uh, and so basically she was the completion of our family that, that we have. And I have three great kids and and my wonderful wife. Um, but I really enjoy her spirit, uh, my, my little girl, Celia. Uh, she's always joyful and uh, always uh, making people happy and smile. But honestly, uh, when I was staring at her in the hospital, uh, I kind of went, how in the world am I going to provide for for three kids and a wife and, and all of that? Um, and and it, was, it was really a, about trusting God and in, in what he has for you. Um, second, um, Veronica and I spent, have, have been together since 1997. So we crossed the 20 year mark in our relationship. Um, you know, when we first started dating in 1997, um, and she's really been the driving force for it, for everything that I do. Um, you know, she's always a support and always a partner for me. Uh, and always has my best interest at, at heart, and uh, um, it's always a, a good thing. Um, and, and it just shows that that God has has great things and wants good things for for all of us at, at, in the end. Um, number three, uh, during this time, we we sold our house, our, our original house that Veronica and I started in, um, and, and bought our, our the home that we're in now. But that was a, a nightmare process. It really did take us about a year and a half to sell the house and settle. Um, and we had to move about three times uh, before we finally settled into where we are now. Um, but it just shows you, again, God has a plan for you. Usually it's not the plan that you've set in, in motion for yourself, but it usually ends up being better than what you would think. Um, number four, uh, you know, loved one's loss. Uh, this one's the, the most recent uh, thing that's happened with me. I've lost my first grandparent, um, you know, about a month ago, a uh, month and a half ago, actually, uh, my grandmother, uh, Bernadette, um, loved my gram, you know, and, and it hurts. You know, there's just no other way to put it. Um, but, you know, there, there's, you know, I think it's Ecclesiastes. It says, you know, there's a season for everything. Um, and what I've learned is that you can't rush through any one of the seasons. Um, you have to let it hurt for a bit. You have to, to reminisce for a bit and, and kind of allow each season to have its turn. Uh, and lastly, um, you know, I got my job just after I turned 30 here at Word FM, Salem Media Group, whatever we're going to call ourselves now. Um, you know, and, and when I turned 30, I was really struggling with my place in, in the world, you know, uh, my place in, in business and with my career. I really felt like I wasn't really going anywhere. And then all of a sudden, this job came up in radio advertising that I really didn't think I was a great fit for. But here, after 10 years coming up in July, uh, after 10 years of being here, um, I would have never thought uh, how, how great of a thing that this this had been. Um, you know, the, the night before I took this job, I actually shot up in, in my bed and was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I don't believe it. I'd never had an outside sales job before. But it just goes to show you that if you're walking through life and you want to do good things and you want to, to be in God's plan for you, he will provide what you need. It's not been, you know, chocolates and and roses and all that, you know, fun, easy stuff. There were there are some hard times, and there's probably going to be hard times coming up here too. But let me tell you, I'm excited for what's coming up in my next ten years. 
um, just kind of wanted to share a couple of a couple of those things as I reminisce through the the last ten years of, of my life. But just remember, uh, God provides; uh, He has great things for us, and uh, hopefully that that resonates with some of you out there. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks. Bye.